Ed Bradley first reported on Jeffrey Canada three and a half years ago, but back then there was no way to tell if his children's zone was working. Today, however, results are in, and they're nothing short of stunning. Dr. Roland Fryer is a professor in the economics department at Harvard. He's conducted the first independent statistical study of Jeffrey Canada's efforts to close the racial achievement gap in his school. The elementary school level, he closed the achievement gap in both subjects, math and reading. Actually uh, eliminating the gap absolutely. in elementary school. I mean, we never, say, we never say anything like that. Absolutely eliminating the gap. <laughs> Exhibit A, the Zone's Promise Academy Charter School. So these are our fourth graders. This year's fourth grade class is special. It's the first class where all the kids have been in the zone's pipeline since birth. The Harlem Children's Zone, which is a great example of uh, Jeffrey Canada organizing a comprehensive way to give those poor kids in Harlem a chance to wind up and be David Letterman or Bill Clinton someday, or be great doctors or scientists by dealing with all the various challenges they have. So if somebody gives money or time to the Harlem Children's Zone, they know that they're going to get a high rate of return. All I have to do uh, is uh, uh, push the send button. I have just tweeted my first tweet ever right here on the show. One of the saddest days of my life was when my mother told me Superman did not exist. I was a, a, a comic book reader, and I read comic books, and I just loved them, because even in the depths of the ghetto, you just thought, he's coming, I just don't know when, because he always shows up, and he saves all the good people, and they never end up. I was reading, I don't know, maybe I was in the fourth grade. My mother, I was like, you know, Mom, you think Superman's up? Should Superman is not real. I was like, he's not. What do you mean he's not? No, he's not real. And she thought I was crying because it's like Santa Claus is not real. And, and I was crying because there was no one coming with enough power to save us. Jeffrey Canada, the program's inspirational, innovative founder, put it best. Instead of helping some kids beat the odds, the Harlem Children's Zone is actually changing the odds altogether. And it's working. Parents in Harlem are actually reading more to their kids. Their kids are staying in school and passing statewide tests at higher rates than other children in New York City. They're going to college in a place where it was once unheard of. They've even placed third on a national chess championship. So we know this works. And if we know it works, there's no reason this program should stop at the end of those blocks in Harlem. It's time to change the odds for neighborhoods all across America. I'm less concerned about the sort of culture wars around, is this conservative or liberal? I want the kids to be able to read. The kids can't read. It doesn't matter what's in the textbooks. If kids can't read, uh, who really cares? My theory is let's give kids a great education. Let's get them to college. So I, I'll bite. Why, why is it important for underprivileged children to succeed? <laughs> spin spin this, your scenario. This, it is absolutely critical if our country is going to remain number one. You know, uh, America is not number one or number two or even in the top 10 or even in the top 15 when it comes to reading and math and English. How do you measure success? Uh, it is measured for us in a very straightforward way. How many of our children come back with college degrees? You ever hear those people who say, you know, this is crazy, you can't do it and think that Maybe you bit off too much. As long as I am here, we're going to push this envelope as hard and as far as possible. Uh, and I think that in the end, uh, it's going to be important that we demonstrate that we can get even the toughest kids to make it in America. Please welcome Jeffrey Canada. Really, I just want to kiss you. Oh. <laughs>